what is up cancer welcome to your love read i hope you guys are doing good thank you for being here with me today this is for cancer love energies towards the end of february so cancer let's see what is coming towards you in love uh my darling so you have the five of pentacles here so far what is coming to cancer in love so the five of pentacles usually shows up with you know there could be something that is influencing your love life or influencing your connection this could be anything okay but the five of pentacles could also be a card of loneliness where you feel just like alone by yourself, miserable. Um, this could be self-inflicted as obviously, you know, some people, you know, choose to isolate themselves and do certain things. So it could be something that is voluntary <laughs> or involuntary, right? What's coming to um, Cancer in Love? What else do we have for Cancer in Love? You have the Knight of Swords. So somebody is definitely feeling pretty uh, uh, in their mind, pretty in their head here. I feel like um, some of you could be going through a really tough separation with somebody. The separation is really hard on someone. I mean, it could be hard on the both of you if it's, you know, both of you guys' is energy, okay? Um, Coming to Cancer in Love. Justice. So you could be going through a really rough divorce or a separation. A Libra could be involved, an Aquarius, a Gemini with this Nine of Swords. I feel like there's an energy of, well, you did what you did, now you have to lay in your bed. So. Again, general readings, I can't tell who did what, but I do feel like someone's in a really guilty kind of energy for some of you. Like, they regret what they've done, okay? Because now it's like you guys are separated, someone regrets what they've done. Six of Cups. Someone is definitely missing you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's coming to Cancer in Love. Yeah, it's it's difficult on somebody. Okay, okay. you have the uh, the high priest. Let's come into Cancer and Love. We get one more, and the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So you definitely may be dealing with an air sign. I feel like somebody literally made somebody, like, someone's like, look, you made your bed, now you lie in it. I do get that someone could be facing some pretty bad karma, sleepless nights, because of, as a result of their actions, you know, what they decided to do or what they decided to say. The Queen of Swords is um, somebody who has boundaries, okay? So I do feel like... Somebody is enforcing some strict boundaries here in the situation. Queen of Swords and Justice. Like, okay, there's nothing you could do or say that's going to get me to, like, take you back or to, you know, change my mind about things. But I do feel like someone's missing you very strongly. And now there could be something about the kids, okay? Maybe there's a custody battle of the kids or something. Now someone's worried about the children. Okay, but you have the Knight of Swords, I guess I could just use these, these cards here. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer in Love. Judgment. Someone could be guilt, feeling guilty over some kind of decision that they made. Maybe they regret uh, succumbing to temptation. Or they regret... Um, Allowing addictions, drinking, smoking, whatever, to kind of overpower them. Okay. Queen of Swords for Cancer. I feel like this person's Cancer is like obsessed with. Someone's obsessed with trying to like get the other person back now. 
I am getting that so it could be involved now. Somebody may have moved moved on, so it may have another connection going on, okay? And they're keeping their distance and it's pissing someone off, okay? Um, I do feel for some of you there is a crazy ex involved. Power principles for cancers, cancer and love, power principles. The eight of swords, yeah. Somebody's like literally stuck in their head about everything, about the ending, uh, how things are right now. Uh, some of you, there is something about someone deciding to just, if it has nothing to do with any of that, to focus on them, their finances, and what's more important to them. Six of Cups, but it's crazy because someone is missing you like crazy though. So it's missing what you two had. This separation is not easy on them. Yeah, someone is having a hard time with this um, separation. No matter what caused it, they're not handling this too well. Okay? Um, not at all. Let's come into cancer and love. Tell me more. But it's crazy because it looks like things have come to an end. Scorpio, Three of Swords. Ten of Cups, the Devil, Capricorn, Judgment, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like even though things have come to an end, someone is still literally obsessed and hooked with getting the other person back. They're obsessed. You know, the attachment doesn't stop, so it still feels heavily attached to you. Okay? Vice versa, whatever. There's still a strong attachment here, is what I'm getting. Someone literally keeps, you know, trying to offer their cup. But somebody's like, no, four pentacles. Um, I feel like there's a sense of satisfaction to this. Like, someone is making the other person literally lay in their bed. <laughs> you made your bed, now lie in it. That's just what I, what I feel. Um, You lost me, I'll deal with it. Eight of Cups. You lost me, I'll deal with it. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Cancer. Uh huh. Divine timing. Someone's even hoping that the wheel somehow turns in their favor. It allows them to get the other person back and be together again. Somebody may have found somebody else is what I'm hearing too. Grass is greener. Jealousy, better option. A happy, deserve better. Somebody in this connection may have struggled with addictions. Uh, I do feel like the situation to you and this person was toxic. Toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. This freak is obsessed with you. Someone's obsessed with the other person, period. Unexpected. And surrender. Somebody does want to reconcile, but again, I, I just don't know if that is something that is mutual. Cancer, love, please. Cancer. Gold digger. Maybe some freak. I don't, Cancer, don't go back to this person. Because I feel like whoever this person is that's wanting you back so badly, I feel like it's because they have some type of codependency with you. Um, and it's not for like a positive reason. Some of you up here this freak wants your money. You have, they'll be back. You keep going through cycles with this person. Uh, you have Liar, Air Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gambling, Buffon. So I'm not really liking this whatsoever. Um, 
I just feel like if you walked away from this free cancer, then continue to walk away, okay? No matter how strongly this person may try to convince you to come back or something like that, to pull you back into this cycle. Um, likewise, it's also true of the reverse. If you're trying your best to get somebody back, unfortunately, you may not have success in doing so because I feel like this person is just dead set on moving forward with their life here and closing this out. They're not handling this too well. The separation is rough. It's rough. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. It is rough. It is rough. Um... What do you want cancer to know, please? In this love situation, cancer. It's telling you to stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. All right, Cancer, so that is the energies that I'm getting right now. Um, I don't feel like someone's willing to change their mind. All right, thank you for being here. Talk to you guys soon.